guys, so this is the weekly trade recap, the review for the week that started on the 26th of June and that was a short week because we had uh, the 4th of July, the Independence Day, so the market was closed on Friday. So let me just go through the uh, quick recap, some of the trades that I've taken. Uh, not gonna be, I'm going to try to make this video a lot shorter than, uh, than I've done uh, the one last week. I think it was dragging on and I'd like to basically keep on three, four trades that I've taken normal and that obviously, you know, I take more trades during the week or it depends, you know, again, I'm not necessarily have a set number of trades that I want to take and every week I'm just basically trading the opportunities that the market to give me the setup that I like and what my screeners give me as uh, candidates to be trading on that on that specific week so but you know in order to basically make it nice and smooth and easy for everyone I'm I'm gonna basically just go through a few trades only of what I've taken the one that I thought the most interesting and so you're gonna understand rational reason setup uh, trade management, position management, risk, etc., etc. I think that's the main goal of these these videos. All right, so let's jump into it, and I will just at this stage shut down the uh, the camera. Okay, so. A quick review of the uh, the S and P and SPY ETF. Then we had a a week again of not much action, but basically you know the trend still being kept intact. We kept on basically bouncing off the week before on of moving average. 50 to 100 100 and same thing again even that even though the end of last preceding week we had a, uh, a sort of consolidation in the market basically a lot of people i think i was watching in social media a lot of people basically tried uh, to trade that breakdown here and position themselves short but again beginning of this week we found some good support a bounce from again the same moving average on the daily basis and we can again go a further uh, more above this uh, big area of resistance around the 315 level we still haven't basically been able on the SPY we haven't been able to fill the gap that we'd left on the week of the uh, 11th of June but um, that's to be continued let's say so generally speaking market still uh, although the, the flow of news has been quite negative in terms of basically covid related news new cases new states having to basically should go and shut down again entering a second uh, area of uh, confinement the flow of news hasn't been that particularly great economically speaking as well you know the non-farm payrolls was uh, not as good as what was expected um and you know lots of news of big you know people being uh, laid off also in Europe the flow of news was definitely negative but generally speaking you know the markets have been uh, fighting off this old news and you know we need to trade what we see at this stage and what we see is that you know the uh, the market has been evolving in this sort of range and consolidation for the past for the month of June uh, but you know still holding moving averages still, still holding the positive trend and at this stage no particular reason to be overwhelmingly overwhelmingly uh, negative and, uh, and bearish at this stage so let's go through uh, some of the uh, trades that I've uh, that I've taken during the week and um, one of the stock that I traded was uh, NIO um, and the reason basically that triggered uh, this thing was that NIO has been one of the uh, one of the stocks biotech uh, sorry <laughs> I'm, I'm trading too many biotech stocks and now I got uh, I got lost in the it's uh, auto manufacturers and that's that comes in the theme that we've seen in the past like, you know a few weeks as well and it's been you know definitely training pretty well since the beginning of, of the year it's been one of the uh, the good performers this year it's in my top list of momentum stocks that I'm uh, that I'm watching continuously and what attracted my um, my attention really was the fact that we had a bounce off this big uh, 
cluster of price here in this area of uh, heavy resistance between 798.60. The first basically time that we've seen uh, the price bouncing off this area, then we pull back towards the moving average 10, found some support on moving average 10, and this sort of like a support area as well, which was around the 680 level. So I was waiting to get some confirmation of price, you know, nicely finding a base and starting curling up again, and which is basically when I found that on June 30th, there was a Tuesday, June 30th. So if we want, we go on the, um, we can go to, uh, intraday uh, charts to get a little bit more of uh, details what happened on that day and on the 30th like, like you see here I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger so you can you can have a better look at it that was the, the opening on the 30th what I did was basically again off the pull back to moving average 10 daily in the sort of like mini consolidation we've seen over a few days the first type of signal impulse signal that i seen was on on that day on tuesday and i waited basically an open an opr five minutes which was there and took a signal and i basically got in at uh, seven dollars and 37 cents i had a 30 cent stop which was basically roughly uh, here below the moving average 50 on the five minutes bar chart and below, you know, this area of uh, this area of support consolidation. And what happened is that, you know, I took my 30 cents first partial profit here on that, on that candle, then moved my uh, stop immediately at a break even. And I just move that a little bit to the right. Second, area of uh, consolidation that I was, uh, that, that, sorry, the second area of, of, of partial uh, profits that I was working on was this price around 790, which was, if you look on the, um, I will show you later on, uh, right after the, on the daily, was also an important area of resistance. So I was working a second partial that I took here. And then the rest, basically, you know, I, I was working my stop loss at break even at this stage. Uh, I'd taken basically two partial profits and I decided to uh, swing the trade for a second day. Uh, I was working um, price targets all along that cluster of price around the 850 level. That was the, the 8, uh, 835, 850. That was working some 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 levels here. Didn't get managed basically to uh, to, to to get filled on the on the proper regular session. But uh, when on uh, July 2nd the market uh, this stock opened with a big back gap up, I immediately got uh, got executed on the open. So uh, third partial that I took was on the open of 2nd of July and on the open which was uh, basically what around nine dollars and right now let's go back to uh the weekly and the daily i'm going to be working a um, my next level is going to be around the, the ten dollar and fifty cents ten dollar and sixty cents okay and that in that Right below, basically this this high that we've that we've established back in uh, 2009 now, but either I will be able to get to that level this week coming, or I will basically work a a trading stop, which basically will take keep me in the move until you know I get uh, I get stopped and it goes through my trading stop. So that's that was an I O, it was a nice trade, and I still basically keep a position on, on that one. Then let's look at um, another trade that I took on uh, K I R R K Kirk K I R K, and so this one was almost you know the same type of logic that uh, that we've seen before. So we've seen uh, this stock trending and, and showing some very nice momentum. Uh, since the beginning of May, I mean, we we went from you know being like under a dollar to uh, trading all the way to almost four dollars. So it was a one of the nice momentum stocks. And what what, what 
what was interesting is that you know from the top that we've realized here at uh, 370 on 22nd of June we had a nice pullback again same sort of levels you know moving average 10 was under the radar for me and this sort of like level around 221 so this level of support mini support that we've had plus moving average conversions of moving average 10 and we were like kind of you know juggling with you know between moving average 10 and 20 on the daily basis that was the area that i was interested in so i was i was waiting for a, a trigger um to uh, to get back into it and thinking you know again that we if we can curl back and start going back up that would be my next uh, probably my next target again to retest the uh, the recent highs at 370. so um let's go to um again an intraday type of chart and make this thing a bit bigger here i got this signal on the june 30th so we opened with a gap up as you can see here that's the gap up that we opened uh, at and you know we i was trying to I found the conversion that I'd, that I'd like to, 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 to find on the, on the 15 minutes, on the 5 minutes bar chart. I was trading like above my moving average 200. The thing is, you know, because I don't like to precipitate myself and go and run after the market. Usually it's not my type of thing. I will take breakout trades, but I won't, I won't certainly put the, the regular size that I would put. If I put, if I take a regular, you know, this sort of breakout trades, I won't, I, I will bet maybe half the size usually that i will uh, i would take normally but in that case the market basically uh, closed and went all the way up to about 17 18 percent up so i thought i'm going to wait for a first pullback and then come in which i found here on the five minutes bar chart on these candles that's where i, I got in and for an entry around uh, two dollars and 62 cents my stop loss was just slightly below the uh, the first candle and opening gap around here so uh, I had a 20 cents uh, stop and therefore you know my first partial profit target was here 20 20 cents on that candle okay I immediately put my uh, stop loss at break-even and what happened is that you know the, the market basically pulled back down um, never basically reached my uh, my level of uh, I was close but you know I think like on that day the, the low was 262 and uh, never basically got done on the uh, on my stop and what happened is on the next day we opened with a gap down but because the level where we opened was very close to uh, my my stop loss from the, day, from the day before and also we were very close on the five minutes bar chart to moving 500 uh, moving up, average 200 which usually keeps and lends a good support to the, to the prices as i gave myself 10 15 minutes to see how the market would be reacting i gave myself you know a little bit of flexibility and time just to see whereas you know we would see more pressure in which case you know i would have taken automatically my uh, my stop loss on on the on the rest of the position i was carrying from yes from the day before or uh if it was holding that level and we could see basically some kind of uh, of uh, pullback and basically which is you know what we, what happened it held on the first basic five minutes candle and then on the first 15 minutes candle you know it was back up to to that level and right now you know the the, the rest of the, the the rest of the session was really uneventful really and What's going to happen is that now um, I will be working um, my second partial uh, and my first, my second target at, uh, let me just look at my notes when I've got $3.10. So basically just below that high that we've seen, uh, we've seen that week. And then next level will be $3.60, 3 just below also the recent high that we had and then aiming at this big area of resistance which is going to be all around four dollar and forty cents so right now you know 
I'm, uh, I've only taken uh, one partial and waiting basically to see what the market's going to do uh, this coming week. So that was the trade in uh, Kirk. Now, another trade that I took was in MYOV. So one of the biotech stock, finally, you know, this one is a biotech stock. <laughs> and again, more or less same type of rational here. So, you know, you see MYOV, like most of the biotech stocks have been extremely, have been doing extremely well this year. Um, and especially since, you know, the low that we've seen in March. So the stock from the low of March till the recent high has been up about 265%. I was interested on that day here that was on the uh, 30th of June to the, the pullback that we've done again on the moving average 10 and also corresponding to this area at $19 between 19 and 19 and 50 cents. I was a very you know um, important level of support plus conversions with moving average 10 daily so I wanted to see what the market would do so let's go to um, intraday few things let's go on the on the one minute bar chart on this one oh, that was on the 30th so this is the 30th that's where the, the market opened you know we had this Big support at nineteen dollars that I was uh, that I was hiding and you know following closely. And uh, once I saw that on that's the open here on the thirtieth, the market basically opened a little bit with a little bit of a gap down, not much, bounced back, then went back down and and made a new low on that day, but basically bounced exactly on the nineteen dollar mark, and then started rallying. Okay, that was the sort of you know market curving uh, that I was looking for and that's when I took basically on that candle my first uh, entry once we had a uh, the moving average also going through moving average 50 on the one minute bar chart uh, making a, a, a new high on on that day and came in at $19.25 I had a stop that was basically just below 35 cents stop and that's when I took my first partial here, 35 cents profit here on that candle, that red candle on the one minute bar chart that you see. And went immediately uh, put my stop loss at break even. And then I just go a bit further down. I was working, let me just go uh, one, new, one unit. Maybe let's go to 15 minutes so we can see it better. So that's basically when I when I came in, okay, on that candle here. Took a first partial on this one here, okay. And the next level that I was working was uh, at tw 20 and 95 cents. So just basically here, I was I was working off this level was $21.03 and I was working basically about 10 cents below but uh, unfortunately the market went all the way to $20.88 but never got uh, high enough for me to take my second partial so I think that the, the high was 20 and yeah, 20 and 88 so never basically got to uh, to fill my second partial at 20 and 95 cents so um, at this stage you know I uh, I just basically let it go and uh, I've got a position uh, this thing stop is uh, still at the break even 19 and a quarter and we'll see what the, the market is going to basically give us uh, this week um, what's wrong with this thing again okay and the idea is basically you know I will keep on working this uh, this level uh, just below the uh, $21 and next level that I will be working are going to be uh, 
21 40 cents and then the high that we've done in the market at uh, just below $22 Okay, let me close these things here so we can see better. All right, so that was MYOV, nothing exciting. I just managed to basically take a small, uh, uh, small profit on that, and you know, right now I'll leave the market to uh, to see if we can do, uh, if I can get uh, some more juice out of it. And uh, one of the last things that I want to talk to you about was uh, YRCW. Um, uh, it's an old company, a uh, you know in the trucking business i mean this 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 company has been has been trading for quite a while and it's been in a marked uh, bear market for quite many years now but uh, we've seen quite of a, a move and impulse on the, on that day and that day was the uh, the 1st of july and we've seen basically this market this the stock exploding, having a massive gap up on that day on the news that the government would uh, take equity participation in the company and basically bring like a $700 million loan to the company. So obviously the market took that very positively. We had a massive gap up. Um, I got interested basically by uh, the fact that we had a nice uh, news catalyst. And on that day, you know, uh, I thought that we could see some, some kind of a momentum um, follow up on that move so i came in on pre-market at uh, three dollars here uh, which was corresponding to almost like a uh, you know first this area of, of support that we've seen around like 290 and three dollars but also you know moving out uh, bouncing off moving average 10 on the on the hourly chart and here as you can see on the on the 15 the 15 minutes bar chart we're also um very close to uh, moving average 20 between moving average 20 and 50 so i was playing a support level around 293 dollars and the idea was to work a a 35 cents stop which was like you know more than enough to give me some uh, flexibility and uh, to face the noise of the market and Trying to retest, you know, the the high of the market that we've seen here around 360. So um, the market hasn't been doing anything. I'm, I still got basically a position on that thing, and uh, what I will be working uh, is my different profit targets. And uh, I'm working right now 335, three dollar and 35 cents as my first. Um, profit targets then I will be working uh, three and a half and then above that I will be working four dollar and sixty nine cents which is also a big level and then after that you know my next level is going to be in that cluster of price around basically the eight dollar uh, area if we manage to, to, to see that I don't know if we're going to find basically some momentum on that thing I will be working also very soon uh, after my uh, my second partial a, a trailing stop and I'll let the market basically tell tell me where it wants to go that's the way that I will play that uh, that one all right guys so uh, these are basically the four trades that I want to talk to you about uh, I don't want to basically spend, spend more time on, on this video and um, you know I, I really do hope that you enjoy this this sort of videos if uh, if you want to uh, comment, you know, please or reach out. You know, you can email uh, email me at uh, Etrian Academy, or you can uh, simply, basically, you know, make comments on on the video down there, and I'll be more than happy to uh, to answer any questions, um, anything. All right. So have a good and safe trading week. Always remember, you know, risk control, capital protection is your number one priority. And I think like a lot of people that might have forgot about that recently because the market has been so crazy and, and with so much momentum and so much percentage moves on the upside that uh, people have kind of like lost uh, track of reality. But uh, at some stage, it's going to hit back home. And, and, and the people that will be doing fine, just fine in this market are the people that uh, know how to honor their stops, honor their... Uh, honor their risk management and that's the most important thing so guys have a good uh, and safe trading week 
and we'll uh, we'll see you uh, in about a week time all right take care